filling up at a petrol station just off the M1 in South Yorkshire, a fairly normal activity for many motorists. Except this is being done in the shadow of a wind turbine and the fuel comes from water. And this essentially is the holy grail of what we want. You've got completely zero carbon footprint, um, there's no fuel being delivered, you've got completely renewable energy, not only supplying fuel but also feeding back into the grid. This is what automotive transport is going to look like going forward probably in the next 10 years. For now though this is a new phenomenon. This hydrogen refuelling station is the first of its kind in the UK. As drivers refuel, behind them there's a complicated process going on. What we've got on site here is an electrolyzer that makes hydrogen. An electrolyzer works by taking electricity directly from a wind turbine in this case and using that electricity to split water into hydrogen and oxygen gases. We compress and store the hydrogen and dispense it into vehicles as fuel. Of course, you can't just roll up with an empty tank. You'll need to invest in a special type of car. There's only a handful so far in the country, but the two companies behind them are gearing up to building hundreds more by the end of the year. And while this new technology will set you back more than the average car, there are other benefits. The cost in terms of the uh, car itself, the car is £66,000. Of course, at this point, it's expensive new technology, but in terms of operating cost, well, in fact, there's hardly any moving parts. There's no maintenance, really, in the fuel cell or the fuel systems. You only have to look after your tyres and your brakes. The real draw, those in the industry say, is the minimal impact of hydrogen fuel cell cars on the environment. Powered by renewable energy and emitting only water vapour, they say it's only a matter of time before demand will drive down the cost. Helen Steele, ITV News in Rotherham.